What do lawnmowers, constipation, and autoerotic asphyxiation all have in common? They are all more likely to kill you in any given year than a so-called assault rifle, like an AR-15 or AK-47, in the United States. That's right. We're going to be taking a look at some CDC data, as well as some other sources, to figure out exactly how safe you are from AR-15s. Yes, the numbers have been fact-checked. Let's get into it. We have some really spicy numbers coming your way, but I need to first start off by explaining really quickly how we got the AR-15 numbers. So back in 2019, we saw a big year for homicides by rifle, much higher than the preceding years at 364. No, that's not 364,000 or 36,000, that's 364, and you're gonna see exactly how small of a number that is. But here's the problem. I said homicides by rifle. I didn't say homicides by AR-15 or AK-47 or modern sporting rifles like that, meaning that all these things get thrown together in one bucket. So how do we go about to tease them apart? Well, here's what I did in full transparency. It seems fair that given that some of the media commentary and insights from politicians today, that if it rings true, then AR-15s account for at least their proportionate share of the pie for the deaths caused by rifles. So figuring that there are approximately 150 million rifles in the United States and that about depending upon what number you want to believe, we'll just pick 20 million. I know the ATF, I think, goes a little lower. Other foundations go a little bit higher, but let's just pick 20 million of those for being AR-15s because that's the number the Washington Post picked. So that means the AR-15s by proportion account for roughly 13.3% of all rifle deaths, which is approximately 40 nine deaths annually. Now, some of the numbers we're about to get into are about because they're taken from abstracted averages over a given length of time. In other words, there were X number of deaths caused by whatever it is across 10 years. Okay, so we're gonna take X divided by 10. That's the amount of deaths per year. Hopefully I didn't lose you on that math because here we go, guys. So AR-15s are involved in less homicides than people die from each year in the United States from lawnmowers, at about 70, bees at about 100 deaths, ladders at about 150 deaths, autoerotic asphyxiations, I'll let you kids Google that, at about 160 deaths, deer, which I did see some conflicting statistics on, usually I see it set at about 200 per year, I did see one really low number at 130, we'll go with the 200, but even if you choose the 130, it doesn't matter. Constipation, 207 in the year 2020. And again, yes, that was fact-checked. Hit by a bus, 264. Swimming pools, I saw this number all across the map, all across the map. I'm gonna take the lowest one that I found, which was 380. Falling out of bed, 737. Riding bicycles, about 1,000, presumably from being hit by cars. Now, what this all means is that basically you are two to three times more likely to die from being choked in bed by your partner than by AR-15s. AR-15s rank just above buckets from one list of obscure deaths in America each year at close to 60 deaths per year. And of course, this is also not too far from the amount of people killed each year from TVs falling on top of them about 29, according to the Consumer Product Safety Commission. And of course, also not too far away from the amount of people who die each year in ice skating deaths at about 17 per year. Right. And in fact, if you think about it, AR-15s at approximately 49 deaths per year are far closer to ice skating deaths than they are to, well, I mean, deer, ladders, Autoerotic asphyxiation, we can keep going on and on and on. Now, of course, all these numbers don't even come close to ranking as leading causes of death in the United States, which just to hit a couple, diabetes at approximately 80,000 people per year, strokes at about 142,000 people per year, chronic lower respiratory diseases, about 154,000 people per year, cancer at about 600,000 people per year. Heart disease is, of course, the leading cause of death in the United States at 635,000. Notably, cancer and heart disease account for just under, but approximately half of all deaths in the United States each year. Of course, if we look at the AR-15 deaths, heck, even if we just say every single rifle death is an AR-15 death, which of course is absurd and it isn't, but even if we just said that, 364 versus 635,000, that's a rounding error. 
when we're talking about causes of death. And of course, because this is the internet, someone's going to ask about, well, what's the international angle here, Tom? We want to hear about that. I got you covered. Hippos and elephants each kill approximately 500 people per year in Africa and Asia each. So combined for approximately 1,000. Scorpions kill about 2,600 people around the world each year. Something called a freshwater snail kills around 200,000 people each year around the world, thanks to it, unfortunately, being a terrific host for parasites and worms and things like that. Of course, being from Wisconsin, no list of this would be complete without mentioning our state bird, the mosquito, which kicks in a staggering 725,000 to 1 million deaths per year around the world. Of course, again, this is thanks to it being a horrible disease vector. Now, this does not mean that we should turn a blind eye to crime and other issues because it is statistically smaller number. I'm not suggesting that in any way, shape, or form. What it does mean is that people, including politicians and judges, need to keep in mind the noise volume associated with people using AR-15s and homicides is in no way whatsoever proportionate to the actual size of the problem. If you can imagine an evening news show where they're talking about invariably so-and-so died from car accident and whatever else, if we actually broke that airtime up across a year and allocated it towards actual causes of death, nearly half of that, half of that would be cancer and of course heart disease. It would be probably only literally a couple seconds per year talking about AR-15s. But is that what you see when you turn on your evening news? Of course not. Keep that in mind. There may be a slant and a perspective there. So guys, before I give you the last couple really interesting causes of death, please take a moment if you've not already done so. Click like to make sure that the algorithm knows that you like it and make sure that I know that you like it because we take a lot of our feedback on the types of videos that we do based on the comments we read as well as our, our like ratios and all this other kind of stuff because we take that as, look, the people have spoken, all right? Also, please consider clicking subscribe to make sure you don't miss any of our other future content coming out. So a few other statistics here to leave you with. Nearly 15 times as many people die from falling out of trees than AR-15s. Do we talk about, I don't know, oak trees as assault trees or something like that? Or maples? Have you heard about pines recently? They've got that high capacity sap coming out of them. That's what I've heard. Of course, almost 10 times as many Americans die each year if we aggregate ice skating, skateboarding, and rollerblade deaths per the CDC. So keep that in mind as well. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. We'll see you in the next one. Thanks for sticking around to the end of the video. If you enjoyed this one, please feel free to check out some of our other great content and we'll see you in the next one.